If the moon is rotating, why do we only ever see one side of it? I'm Danny, welcome to Science Fix, let's go find out. Have you ever looked up at the moon and wondered why you always see the same face all the time? I mean, it's going to be rotating, right? So if the moon's rotating, why don't we see it rotate all the way around? From where we are on Earth, we only ever see the same face. There's a famous album that talks about the dark side of the moon. But actually, there's no permanently dark side of the moon. But there is a far side that we've never seen until 1959 when the Russians put a space probe called Luna 3 in orbit around the moon. That space probe sent pictures back to Earth, a bit like this one, and that side of the moon looks very different to the face that we always see. So, if the moon is rotating, why don't we see all of it over the course of a month? It's quite a hard one to get your head around, as several things are moving at once. So the moon is actually rotating on its own axis, but at the same time it's also rotating the Earth. Now over millions and millions and millions and millions of years, the gravity of the Earth has slowed the moon's rotation down. This is called tidal lock. So overall, the gravity of the Earth has slowed the moon down enough so that the rotation of the moon is the same as one orbit around the Earth. So there's a couple of important facts that we now to think about. The first one is the moon rotates on its own axis and this takes 28 days to do one full rotation and the moon orbits around the earth and this also takes 28 days. So if the two things are the same as the moon goes around the earth we only ever see the same face pointing towards us. It's almost as if the moon is captured by the earth and as the earth spins it just holds it in place but that's not actually happening. The moon is actually rotating. If you're not convinced, here's some animations that might help. So, in this first animation, uh, I've coloured sections of the moon to make it clearer. So if, you so if you look down on the moon, you can see that the moon is rotating. As the moon rotates, it's also travelling around the Earth. The time it takes to orbit the Earth is exactly the same as the time it takes to make one full rotation. It's the exact same animation of the spinning Earth but I've now made it move in a circle and suddenly it doesn't look like the moon is rotating it just looks like it's just pointing towards the earth all the time but it is still doing its spin so if we were standing on the earth looking out all we would ever see would be the red yellow face the blue green face would always be pointing away from the earth Now another thing we could throw into this model is the effect of the sun, because the sun is shining on one half of the moon. The side facing away from the sun is in shadow. So as the moon orbits the earth, the same side is facing the earth, but the shadow moves across the whole of the moon. So over the course of one orbit of the earth, over the course of one month, if you had a moon base on the moon, you would have 14 days of sunshine and 14 days of darkness. So there's no such thing as a dark side of the moon that's permanently dark. At any one time, half the moon is dark and half the moon is light, but there's no permanently dark side of the moon. There is a permanently far side of the moon, and as I said earlier on, we didn't see that until, until the late 50s. We only ever see one face of the moon. Hope you found that useful. If you like this video, please subscribe, please like it, um, and please keep an eye out for more videos in the future. Check out my website www.sciencefix.co.uk and I hope to see more of you soon. Thank you for listening.